It is a beautiful day in uh, Puerto Rico. There's a tower. I can't believe it. It's my last trip on the Pilatus. Hopefully not my last trip ever, but for now it looks like it's gonna be my last trip ever flying a Pilatus PC-12. There's nothing false about the title on the bottom. It's, it really is my last trip on the Pilatus, but we're gonna talk about that later uh, in the video. Right now, I just pulled into the uh, parking lot in San Juan. Gotta go get to the plane, get everything ready. Uh, going to St. Barch with some passengers and then coming back empty. So I'll, I'll show you a little bit of here and there on my way to St. Barch and then we'll officially start the uh, the flying vlog on on the last leg back from uh, St. Barch to San Juan. Bittersweet moment, there's no clickbait on the, uh, it's not a clickbait, the name of the video, it truly is my last trip on the Pilatus. I'll tell you all about it on the way back from St. Barch, okay? So I'll see you there. It's been raining non-stop. I haven't been able to wash the truck. It's so dirty right now. Look at that. But here we are. Right, folks, we gotta go through security now to go out to the security area of the airport. I won't be able to record this part, but uh, I'll see you on the other side. All right, we are here. I have to walk every single day this, uh, this route to get to the plane, and I go by JetBlue all the time. It's a nice, sweet view of all the planes when, they, uh, when they're parked here. There's the A320. And there's my plane. This is basically our pilot office. This is where we do our flight plans, Gendex, verified weather, and everything else. This is our iPad charging station. And uh, we have a pretty cool view of the, uh, the airplanes, the ramp, everything that is going on, even the JetBlue guys. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And this is our snack depot. This is where we build the snack baskets that we put up on the plane. And as you can see, we usually carry Oreos, Pringles, veggies, Cheetos, skinny popcorns, Lay's, and all the good stuff. Someone clears good speed 171 is at April 4 with information Tango uh, VFR to St. Barts. 5171, Okay, we'll fly the sender easy parts are heading 075, squawking 0021, good speed 171. All right, folks, we uh, we have the clearance already. Uh, let me introduce you to a very special friend. That's Freddie. Freddie is our companionship on this hot and warm summer days in the cockpit of the Pilatus PC-12. Say hi, Freddie. It's hot. It's uh, 43 degrees Celsius right now inside the cockpit of the plane. And uh, we have the GPU on, we're blasting full AC inside, and it's still uh, pretty warm, so thank you, Freddy. We appreciate your service. <laughs> 43 degrees. And Freddy is blowing. There's Bruno getting ready to go, and I'm waiting for my passengers. Folks, 
we just landed in uh, beautiful St. Barts. They're taking all the bags out. I'm just gonna hit the loo and then I will be on my way back to San Juan on my last flight in the Platos. All right, there she is sitting for one last time. Let's uh, let's get out of here now. All right, let's do this. Let's get her going. Cargo door is closed. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. Wheel lock is out. Clear left, center, and right. Here we go. Angie's rising. ITT is going down because we're just starting the plane up again. So 13% NG and uh, less than 150 degrees Celsius. Bring this lever to uh, ground idle. ITT is rising. NG's rising. And uh, everything looks good. All pressure is rising as well. my flows here and let's do pusher test on the series 9 pc12 which is the one we're flying today the pusher uh test button is back here so there we go it's gonna push forward now in a second there we go we interrupted so it's uh ding. there we go it's working let me set up the flight plan menu catalog same barge to San Juan VFR, activate, that's AOA the ice. Flight controls, left, up, good, right down, good, free and correct. Same barge traffic, good speed, five, nine or zero, one all aboard, two hours sturdy on the fuel, taxing to Alpha. Good speed, uh, five, nine or zero, Samba Praja, one zero, in you, zero, five, zero, one, four, Jimeta, one zero, one, six, you pop ready. Alright, I'll call you ready and uh, say hi to the cameras. Hello, guys. <laughs> Alright, so crew briefing. We're going to depart runway 10. Things to have in mind. We have to hit 60 knots by Charlie. If we don't hit 60 knots by taxiway Charlie, we have to abort our departure. Also, after Charlie, there's no abort. We have to ditch the plane on the water. We're going to ditch it below 1,200 feet. Everything. Negative traffic group on final wind 05014, report leaving some off circuit. All right, we'll call the 11 circuit, good speed, 590, see ya. All right, so we, there's the traffic around here, so we can line up, let's bring the probes, the lights. So if anything happens above, uh, below 1,200, we're gonna ditch, it's gonna be flaps 40 gear up, ditching in the water, probably close to a beach. I don't like swimming, so as close as possible. And uh, above 1,200, we can try and turn back line around with 28 in St. Bart's. I'm going to bring flaps 15 uh, immediately, then I will uh, do gear and flaps as we get closer. Uh, everything above 6,000, we go to St. Martin, okay? All right, are you guys ready? Last takeoff out of St. Bart's. This is so bittersweet. I'm going to miss this place so much. Advancing the power while holding the brakes. We have 42.2 on the power, everything looks good, and instruments in the green, cause appropriate, let's go. Right rudder. This plane really requires right rudder. Right, airspeed is alive on both sides, cross checked. 60 knots way before Charlie. Past Charlie, so no abortion, 80 knots, rotate. Gears coming up, legs are off, yaw damper is on, and left turn out. All right, initially heading 060, there's 400 feet, airspeed is above 100 knots, so flaps are going zero. There's some rain. I'm going to do a right turn out here, because there's some rain right in front of us. 
All right, there's a thousand feet. Separator is closed. I'll bring the power back to 36.9, which is uh, max continuous power on the PT6 on the Pilatus. I'm gonna make a right turn towards San Juan to avoid the rain. Contact uh, all right, eighteen seven. Talk to you later. Good to be five ninety. See ya. See ya. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. All right. Thank you, Sebastian. Over to Juliana now. One five miles. Five miles. Next one is four five. So power again, bringing it down to thirty six nine. All right, you guys are having a gorgeous view out of St. Barts on the right side. Fantastic. Let's talk to Juliana real quick here. Juliana Tower, good afternoon, good speed, 590. Speed 590, Roger, continue northbound and stand by for course. Juliana QNH 3004 and 05014. Copy all, and we're actually turning uh, southwest bound due to weather, if you don't mind, good speed 590. Uh, speed 590, southwest bound, Roger, stand by on course. Copy. All right. Well, 3590, we've been having a little difficulties with your departure flight plans as of late, the few of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Check it out, uh, get in touch with the, uh, the ground people, the office, and uh, get that rectified, please. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Fennai. We'll, uh, we'll work on that. And now the pod is coming on. 3590, now for uh, westbound, uh, San Juan, climate 165, report passing 135, Okay, I'll now have westbound to San Juan, and uh, we'll call the out of 135, good speed, uh, 590. Alright, autopilot has it, let's go direct to Waypoint Ocell, which is just south of St. Thomas. Nav is on, now the autopilot will follow the GPS, giving me that right turn. 0107, good speed, 590. And we are turning towards Ocell, about heading 293, so... Now like northwest bound and climbing out of 4,000. Bye bye, St. Bart's. Gonna miss you. Love you. Bye. <laughs> All right, then on we go. Let's pluck ourselves from the sun here real quick. And uh, I'm gonna start climbing this plane up to like 1,500 feet, uh, maybe 1,800 feet a minute just to uh, climb quick. All right, guys, they just uh, gave us a handoff to uh, San Juan Center. We're currently climbing out of 13,500, or actually flight level 135. Center is 1815, let's talk to them real quick. San Juan Center, good afternoon, good speed 590. Good speed 590, San Juan Center, squad 0003. 0003, good speed 590. All right, guys, we're in indicated airspeed mode, climbing at 160 knots, and uh, keeping it under 720 on the ITT right here. Okay, altitude capture is on. It's uh, capturing 16,500, flight level 165. And from what I can see out the window, I don't know if you can see it too, but uh, looks pretty clear all the way out there, so we shouldn't have any issues at this altitude whatsoever, which is nice. So we're expecting a very, very, very smooth ride back to uh, back to Puerto Rico. All right, guys, we are flight level 165. Let's. Uh, do our cruise uh, power setting. We are at 4 degrees Celsius, as indicated on the EIS, uh, so we go 4 degrees. 165 is going to be about uh, 30.4 on the torque. I'm going to bring the torque down. Okay, there it is. Good evening, stay on center, good speed, one zero. Perfect. So, cruise checklist. Cruise power is set, fuel is sufficient, it's balanced. Uh, it's, there's one segment in balance, heavy towards the right, but that's good. Engine instruments are five in the green. Cabin pressure is stable in the green, nothing is moving here, and also on the green. Cabin temperature, it's uh, appropriate. Zero two zero flight level. So, uh, cruise check is complete. United 1040 to speed 590, radar contact, approaching the western boundary of Julian Air Space, altitude indicates 16,500. Uh, Someone altimeter 3004. That is correct, good speed 590, thanks. Jeff, we wait 82. Alright, guys, <coughs> welcome back. On to today's video, which is a pretty sad one. And I know what you guys are saying, there's got to be some clickbait somewhere. There's none. The, the title of this video down here, it's true. This is my 
last trip on the Pilatus PC-12. Fortunately, I, uh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving uh, Tradewind. I'm leaving the Pilatus. Uh, nothing wrong with it, honestly. Uh, I think it's been fantastic uh, working here. I've had the greatest honor of flying with amazing pilots, amazing persons. Uh, I've learned so much about aviation while working here, but my life goals are no longer aligned with the uh, outcome of being here. Uh, my, my family, that being me and my wife and obviously my daughter, which you'll meet someday soon, I'll, I'll bring her along in a video someday soon. I'm pretty sure if you go on my social media on Instagram or Facebook, you, you've seen her around and she likes planes, so that's great. But uh, we've taken the decision, we've, we've, we've chosen to move to uh, Florida. So we're going back to the mainland, uh, most likely Orlando, so Central Flor Florida. Uh, my mother-in-law lives there, and uh, she's been of great help to us uh, figuring things out. So we're we're gonna move there. And uh, I'll be honest, if Tradewind ever offered me something home-based out in Florida, I would probably stay. But that's not the case, unfortunately. Um, they're only based at uh, San Juan in New York, in Connecticut, and unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, to keep working here if I move to Florida. So um, it's not the end of my flying career. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna talk again pretty soon. Uh, actually, I have something lined up already, so I'm gonna be flying soon. I have to do training first, but I'm gonna be flying soon. Leave a comment down below and try to guess what airplane I'm gonna be flying after the Pilatus. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm so excited about it. Uh, hint, it requires a type rating. For those of you that don't know, a type rating is required whenever you're flying an aircraft that weighs more than 12,500 pounds or that is powered by a jet engine. So, the plane that I'm going to be flying now, I already have a job lined up. It's all going to be fantastic, but it requires a type rating. So I'm narrowing things down for you guys to write down in the comments what plane would you guys like me to fly or what planes you think I'm going to fly after uh, after that Pilatus. Leave your comments down below. Uh, hopefully someone guesses it right and uh, I'll see what I can figure out for you guys. <laughs> Probably a mention or something. We'll see. Um, I feel happy. I feel fine. I feel great. I feel like I have achieved a life goal of flying the Pilatus PC-12. I used to sit down at the FBO when I was a private pilot and, and I would see the Pilatus coming back and forth uh, into San Juan thinking that I would like to fly that plane and a couple years after I was sitting here flying the plane so that's amazing. But it's, uh, it's time to say goodbye. So I'm gonna miss the Pilatus a lot. Um, hopefully Soon after I finish my uh, my type rating and start flying the the, the line that I'm going to be flying, uh, hopefully I can find somebody with a Pilatus over in the Central Florida. Florida, then it's a a contract pilot and I can do contract trips. That I could bring you along. Obviously, everything is to bring you along. That's that's what I want to bring you along on the trips. Um, unfortunately, my new job. I don't think they're going to let me record when flying. So. I'm sorry about that guys, I really wish I could bring you up on my new job, um, but that's that's not going to be a possibility. I'll try to see what I can do to at least give you an insight of what I'm doing and, and not keep you guys, um, not, give you, not push you guys away because I definitely enjoy uh, talking to all of you all the time. But that's it, it's been a good run, uh, I feel uh, confident that I've done a great job. Uh, here at Tradewind. If you guys have any questions about the company and you want to get hired or something, let me know. Um, the irony is pretty strong on this one. My last video was about us hiring pilots and I was talking to the director of training. If you remember that last video, I'll leave the, I'll leave the link below.
so you can see it and, and we talked about uh, the company hiring like 30 pilots in a couple months and you know what actually I met some of those pilots I got hired um, I met a bunch of them and they're fantastic pilots great group of people I really enjoyed flying with them um, but I have to go so that's the story there's nothing bad about it July 1st I'm out of here uh, and uh, that's about it if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below and uh, yeah I'm gonna miss it she's been a good bird fantastic well that's uh, that's all about the title of today's video all right, folks, we're approaching domestic airspace in San Juan. I'm seeing some clouds up ahead. So I'm just going to go a little bit to the right to uh, this waypoint called Shaka. So direct, enter, enter, activate. Plane's going to turn to the right. And there we go. Perfect. I'm going to set a vertical calculator to cross um, to be at least five miles out of San Juan at 1,500 feet. Right now it's asking me to do 150 feet per minute. I'm gonna wait till like 1200 feet per minute before we start our descent, okay? Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, we are about to start our descent into San Juan. Let me just get that started. So we're going to send down to 1,500 feet at a rate of uh, 1,800 feet a minute. That's set and I'm going to set the pressure for sea level plus 500. And there it is. Kevin is descending now. Contact Let me run the uh, descent checklist, count pressure rate is set. Descent checklist complete. And uh, I'm just going to let center know we're descending so they can uh, switch us over to approach. Now, center, good speed, 590 V for descent. Good speed, 590, thank you. There we go. Luis Munoz, Marine International Airport, HS Information Alpha. Two one five six zero. That was three minutes ago. One zero eight zero at one five. Visibility one zero. Three thousand four hundred carat. Seven thousand carat. Temperature two niner. Two point two three. Altimeter three zero zero three. Good speed five ninety. Approach one two eight six five. Twenty eight sixty five. Good speed five ninety. Take care. See ya. Now on approach, good afternoon, good speed 590, sending out of 12,500 with Alpha. Good speed 590, sending one approach, Roger, at uh, contact plus 120.9er. 20.9er, good speed 590, see ya. I figured that was the frequency they were going to give us as we're super close to the Puerto Rico shoreline here. Now on approach, good afternoon, good speed 590, sending out of 11,600 with Alpha. Good speed 590, someone to parse your uh, question. They want to approach and try downwind south of the plaza from way 10. Right downwind south of the plaza 10, good speed 590. Uh, I guess we're going to do a visual runway 10. We're going to use flaps 40. It's going to be a right downwind uh, approach, and uh, we're going to try to make it out by Hotel 3 intersection, okay? So uh, it's going to be flaps 40. I'll bring it in super slow over the numbers, touchdown, and. Uh, I don't think I'm even going to need to use reverse with the winds the way they are, 0, 8, 0, 15, so quartering headwind from the left, and uh, should be good. 
All right, so we're approaching Shaka Waypoint right now. The plane's going to slightly turn towards the left, but I don't like the way that looks over there in Weirview Far. So I'm just going to keep our press and heading. So I just click heading up here in the autopilot, and that puts me on heading mode. All right, we're getting under the uh, cloud layer here. Looks a little spotty up ahead, but we should be able to make our way through. According to NextRed, there is almost no precipitation on this route, so I'm pretty sure it's just a lot of puffy clouds out there that we can navigate our way around. So we should be good. We're currently doing 280 knots across the ground, indicated 235. We're not allowed to go more than 236 indicated. That's an aircraft limitation. Starting to see out there towards the left. So we're turned slightly left here. Sometimes when you're flying with the sun in your eyes, it's a little difficult to to guess what's up ahead. Um, so once you get below cloud layers like this one, it's a lot easier to uh, to look up front and, and take uh, pick your way around the clouds. So there we go. I can see a clear view all the way out to the airport almost. So I'm just going to stick to this heading until we get closer. We're currently estimating four minutes to the airport. We're leaving 5,000. So that's good. Our next frequency will be the tower. Let me set it up right now before we get really busy. I like this plane because you have this little clipboard up here where you can put your uh, scratch pad papers um, right on it. So it's really handy to write clearances and ADAs and everything else. I can see the bridge from here. This is fantastic. Let me know if you guys can see it all the way out there. You can see like the lake and the bridge going across. Let's see 590, turn up heading 270. 590, can we do that in about a mile? We have a big cloud to our left right now. 590, from ready for enable, turn up heading 270. Alright, when able to 270, good to be 590. Alright, 1669. I'm going to level off at 2500, he's going to give us vector, probably uh, behind some traffic. We're entering class Charlie airspace right now, so I need to slow down to uh, about 200 knots. All right, I can do 270 now. Let's do that. Three, someone approaching. Right down, wind south of Plaza for runway eight. Wind south zero zero one five. Altimeter three zero zero three. Two seven zero. Good to be five ninety heading two seven zero. Five ninety, Roger. All right, we're uh, we're at the airport environment, so I'm just in we're in heading mode. So I'm gonna go and activate a visual approach for runway one zero on the GPS. This is one of the best features that this Garmin, Auto, uh, Garmin GPS has, is that you can create a, a fake ILS with glide slope and everything, uh, terrain permitting, and it's super great for situational awareness, especially if you're flying into an unknown airport. So you set up uh, a visual approach on one zero, it'll create a line extending the center line all the way back on the approach and uh, give you a kind of like a fake Glide path. Turn right heading 280, traffic to follow, 1 o'clock, 1 0 miles eastbound, southwest, Boeing 737, 2500. Alright, 280, looking for that southwest, good speed, uh, 590. Down to 1500 feet, some rain. And we're looking for southwest. Hopefully, it's the new livery that just came out a couple days ago. The, uh, the Freedom livery. I've been wanting to see that in person. It looks pretty nice in pictures. Have you guys seen the new Southwest Freedom Livery? Uh, let's see if I see that guy. I see him on the uh, t -cast. Oops, I see him right out there. I can see him shining. And good speed 590, we have the Southwest in sight. 590, follow the traffic, caution with turbulence and contact on tower 132.05. All right, we'll follow the traffic and over to tower good speed 590. We're jumping a little bit here, gotta slow down. All right, guys, the traffic is about 1.30 to 2 o'clock, a little high up, so I'm just going to square my base behind him. Uh, it's a 7.37, so there's definitely going to be some wake turbulence. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a higher glide path than what he's doing. Uh, also, I'm going to slow it down a little bit once I get to final to give him some time to land and clear the active. That should probably get rid of all the, uh, get rid of all the uh, wake on the runway as it's quite windy, 0015. San Juan Tower, good afternoon, good speed, 590, right down with 10 behind Southwest. This is 590 San Juan Tower, crash over 2 runway 10 clear to land. 10 clear to land, good speed, 590. 
Okay, 1500 turning north. So I'm making my uh, right base turn. Look at the view down there. That's uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico for you guys. I'm gonna start slowing her down about 10 PSI on the torque. Yeah, I can see the Southwest. It's, it is not the Freedom livery. It's just one of the plain old uh, blue liveries. And there's a freaking traffic yam going westbound. Oh my god, I have to drive on that now. I hate driving. I like my truck, but I hate driving, especially when there's traffic yams. Alright, gonna turn final now. Speed is 155, flap 15 selected. Final. That down there is Plaza Las Americas. It's the biggest shopping center in the uh, in Puerto Rico. So that's that's there. And actually, on that tower on top of the plaza, on the, I believe floor number nine, on the ninth floor, that's where the uh, FAA Fisto is at. So you definitely want to keep uh, keep things tight around here. Follow the law, you know. Runway Alright, gears coming down, speed checks, and legs are on. There's the runway, and we're turning towards it. I'm going to disconnect the autopilot. I'll kill the flight director. Autopilot is engaged, that's the cause, flight director is out, and uh, gears down three green. I'll do. Let's see, we'll do flaps 30 now. 63 is on ground, Roman. Gonna do some rudder trim here. Bring this up to 5,000 for the next crew. Alright, Southwest is clearing on Hotel 5. We're gonna clear on Hotel 3. And down we go. As I said, you can see, you could probably see the poppies are four white. Uh, we're gonna keep it a little higher than usual, just for the wake. Once we get closer, I'm pretty sure the wake will would have dissipated so I could go on a normal path. There we go, holding about 85 knots on final. And I can still go down to like 65 knots if I really wanted to. This plane is amazing at slow speeds. There's 500 feet. Gears down three green flaps 40 out of poly damper away before landing checklist has been completed. And uh, we're clear to land runway 10. There's the uh, RL call sign. Call warning, yeah. You get it. That's uh, Theodoro Moscoso Bridge. That's where they recorded the movie Fast and Furious. It was not in Brazil, it was at this bridge in Puerto Rico. But windy. Three wide over red. Looking good, 85 knots. Bring her back to 80. Two wide over two reds. You need a 1681 departure. 1681 contact departure today. Two. Flaring a little power. Flaring. There we go. Nice and smooth. A little better. Auto 3 to run. Good speed 590. And ground idle selected. There you go. We did it. Thank you for following along, guys. Really appreciate your uh, your support over the past couple of years flying the Pilatus. We're clear of the active, flaps are up. Likes are required. Um, I don't know what to say. I guess I'll see you guys some other time soon. Uh, I really hope so. So, if you like this video, like, comment, Anything you, you want to know, subscribe to the channel again, that, that'll support me a lot in the, in the next couple videos that I'll be uploading soon, hopefully. And uh, thanks for following. It's been a pleasure flying the Pilatus with you guys, okay? I'm going to miss it, and I'm going to miss you guys in the Pilatus, so...
parking brake set. Complete parking brake set. ECS is off. Tax light is off. Transponders VFR. Cooling and heating is off. Avionics 2 1. Generators 2 1. ITT stable to me. Condition lever coming down. That's it. We're done. It's been fantastic. Beacon. Alright guys. See you next time.